Hello. Banks exist in order to take in deposits and to lend money. When banks lend to clients, they assess credit worthiness and credit risk, and they charge based on that assessment. Credit risk rating agencies assess credit worthiness and credit risk of institutions and individuals in an independent manner. And we believe the exact same process should be applied to the assessment of financial crime risk. At Elucidate, we've built the world's first independent regulated database with scores on 17 and a half thousand banks and FIs around financial crime risk. And we've created the ability for correspondent banks to be able to price services to respondent banks off the back of those risk scores. My name is Ben Arbor. I represent Lucidate. Thank you. Despite a huge amount of progress in addressing illicit finance, the UN estimates that up to $2 trillion of criminal proceeds are laundered through the financial system every year. At Lucidate, we believe banks are stuck in a cycle of investing in systems and people, which usually generate large amounts of false positives and aren't effective and efficient. Likewise, correspondent banking de-risking has moved risk elsewhere or increased risk by pushing flows into less well-regulated organizations and geographies. And we believe that there's a vast amount of data that remains untapped. Benchmarking driven by data and machine learning, taking in significant amounts of publicly available data, together with a large amount of proprietary data, means that we can score those 17,500 banks based on nine different risk themes and score them at an institutional level. Taking in customer transaction, CDD information, and therefore really making a reality the ability to measure risk across a banking network and ecosystem rather than a bilateral view of customer due diligence. We do show the output of the model to the public in the same way that credit rating agencies have a publicly consumable front end. The Elucidate Financial Crime Risk Monitor contains the scores from a tier perspective on the banks that we rate. We can see it in action. Taking a North American institution, which currently scores in the first tier for their ability to manage financial crime risk and their control effectiveness. The nine geographic, sorry, the nine risk themes are on the left and not unlocked for the public. And clicking into the country, United States, you got to feel for just how many organizations are scored in EFI, the Lucid Financial Crime Index. 17 tabs just for the US. Clients are using EFI to assess their own financial crime risk and identify illicit funds, bribery and corruption, money laundering sanctions, exposure they didn't know they had, and then demonstrate the ability to address it on a month by month basis, which they then take to regulators and, for example, to correspond to banking partners to show their ability to manage that risk as identified by an independent regulated under the EU benchmarking law in body elucidate. Likewise, correspondent banks are using EFI to address risk in their respondent banking book and to start to price that risk. Banks who score higher will get more cost effective clearing payments, trade services than banks that score lower. Interestingly, the amount of risk identified is also having a positive impact in terms of reducing due diligence, both at smaller banks and within correspondent banks, plus customer service benefits where a greater level of data and insight into transactions and CDD information means that fewer RFIs are being sent by 
across my banking clients to their respondent banks with a positive impact from a customer service perspective. We also see interest and adoption from public sector entities such as supervisory bodies where measuring supervised banks to a single standard, which is validated by an independent model oversight committee and um, and uh, not subject to abuse or influence is of value. And fundamentally, we believe there's a significant amount of data to justify why a new approach to financial crime compliance needs to be the future. Spending over 3% of bank revenue to identify less than 1% of the actual financial crime cannot be continued. The new approach needs to be quantified, data-based, metric-driven, independent, and regulated. And that's what the Elucidate Financial Crime Index EFI achieves. Thank you.